It's only me, Claire Elise. So I've decided to do this Sunday kind of a vlog and a review together because I'm looking for a new foundation. I've heard some really good reviews at the moment about bourgeois products, about their foundations and I went into Boots, what, a couple of days ago and got given a sample of this one here. Hopefully you can see that. So I put it on, as you can see. The coverage is pretty good, it's nice and light. The shade is actually vanilla, which is 52, uh, which it says is vanilla for fair skin tones. And the good thing about this foundation is it says in the little booklet thing that I've got, it lasts for up to 16 hours. It has three different types of uh, colour correcting pigments in there. Uh, yellow, which is for anti-dark circles. Uh, mauve, which is anti-dull complexion. And also green for anti-redness on the skin. Uh, my first sort of view and opinion of the foundation, it goes on really well. It's really easy to blend. It does leave a different finish to your skin than what I'm used to because normally I'm used to kind of quite a glowy look as this is a lot more matte for me and it's also, as you can see, kind of leaves a sort of powder finish which is great because it sets it. Right, so the idea behind this is I'm going to test drive it. So I'm going off out now to go to Dubai Mall to do a bit of shopping and to get a coffee with some friends and I'm going to see how this foundation lasts for the day because it says it lasts up to 16 hours so does it really give you that coverage without any sort of top up throughout the day. I've also got another bourgeois product on, this one here, on the lips. So let's see how it sort of uh, wears throughout the day, shall we? So how is my foundation doing? Well, as you can see, I've had it on for, what, six hours now? It's not doing too bad, actually. Uh, looks a little bit more glowy compared to what it did when I first put it on because obviously it was a matte sort of finish and uh, quite a powdery finish. But now looking a bit more dewy. I haven't put any powder on top of it or anything, just left it as it is. And it's wearing quite well, quite impressed, as I say. Um, as regards the lipstick, had my cup of tea, well, my cup of coffee, um, as you can see. And, yeah, not wearing quite so well, so I think that might need a top up. Hey there lovelies, so it's 8 o'clock at night, I'm in my room and I thought I'd do my final review of the Bourjois 123 Perfect uh, foundation and of the lipstick as well, the Rouge edition that I have here. Um, so, 10 hours worth of foundation wearing and uh, what is my final verdict? Right, so let's see... Um, what it actually claims on the website. Let's have a look here. So, Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation. It says, Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation gives a flawless, even complexion for 16 hours thanks to a new generation formula. Okay, it also says, let's have a quick look. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Uh, it also says um, that it has three correcting pigments for zero imperfections. Uh, one, a yellow pigment for anti-dark circles. Two, mauve pigments for anti-dull complexion. And three, green pigments for anti-redness. It says that there is 24 hours hydration and anti-shine. A cotton flower extract, an SPF of 10. Medium coverage which lets your skin breathe. Uh, soft smooth formula for a second skin finish. Right, so does it live up to these expectations then? Well, as you can see, um, my skin I think still looks quite even. It looks a lot more glowy than it did when I first put it on this morning. Um, it has got a little bit oily down the T-zone because I've got combination skin, so that's to be expected to be fair. And that does happen with quite a lot of foundations, so probably need a little bit of powder halfway through the day. But this is, as you see it, this has basically been on my skin since this morning. I've been wearing it for 10 hours straight, without any touch-ups, without 
any powder to set it, any powders on top throughout the day, anything. This is as it is. So you can see for yourself, it's given me really good coverage. The other thing I like about it, it's not overpriced for what it is. Um, some foundations can be quite pricey, we know that. Um, this is quite a reasonable priced um, foundation and it does as it says, you know, on the tin so to speak. It wears quite well, gives a soft light, uh, medium coverage to the skin. Um, for me, I would say probably I give it an, an eight and a half as it does do quite well. I just wish it was not so oily on my T-zone now, but with a bit of powder, you know, it'd be great. And finally, as you can see on my lips, said earlier, um, I've test drove or use Bourjois uh, Rouge Edition lipstick, as you can see. Uh, this colour is Rouge Jet Set. I love red. <laughs> look at my hair, look at my nails, my, most of my wardrobe is red. <laughs> yeah, I love red uh, and sparkle. Um, so I really was quite excited to try this uh, lipstick. I was impressed with it. Um, it's like any lipstick, right? You're going to eat, you're going to drink throughout the day, it's going to need to be uh, reapplied. Um, did it stay on quite well? Yes, it did. Um, even when it had worn off quite a bit, there was still a little bit of colour left on my lips, like a tint to the lips. So it didn't look like my lips were bare, which was good when I was walking around the mall this afternoon. Um, did it... Uh, stay in place, did it get on my teeth or whatever? Got a little bit on my teeth at first, but I think I put a bit too much on. I went a bit mad with the red. I was like, woo! Uh, let's put loads of red stuff on my lips to make them look amazing. Um, so I quickly learned you only need a little bit of the product and it does a fabulous job. So as soon as I learned that one, we were sorted. Uh, what would I say to this lipstick? I would say I would definitely give it a 9 out of 10 because yeah I love the colour, it looked really nice um, and it lasted quite well uh, just needed the normal top ups after having a cup of coffee this afternoon uh, after having food, other than that, wicked! Okay lovely, so there you have it that's what I thought of the Bourjois products that I tried I'm really impressed with the range and I'm definitely going to be trying out some more of their products for sure I'm going to find out some more stuff from Boots very very shortly and uh, I'll definitely make sure that I put those reviews up here on my YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed what you've watched today, uh, do check out my other videos on the channel. And also, please, please, please click subscribe. That would be totally awesome. I'll see you soon. It never Bye. Felt so strong and you